All right, let's talk about how you could use a graph such as this to determine a periodic trend. So for this one, you need to talk about what is the trend across a period and what is the trend across a group. Remember, a period is side to side across the periodic table. So a period is this. A group would be up and down. So there's a group, there's another group, there's another group, there's another group, there's another group, etc. So uh, let's start with determining the trend across. It doesn't matter which one you do first. Maybe across a group. Remember, a group is up and down. So if I want to look in a group, I'm going to check lithium. And looking at the periodic table, I see lithium is in the same group as sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium. So I see lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium. These are in the same group as lithium. So let's see what the trend is. So in this group, we see that this thing, in this case, it's atomic radius, but it could be anything. Um, this trait increases from lithium to sodium. Okay, notice that the y-axis tells you what you are looking at. The x-axis... It says atomic number, but it says the same thing, atomic number here and atomic number here. So all the graphs say atomic number on the y, on the x-axis. It's the y-axis that tells you what it is you're looking at, electronegativity or ionization energy or atomic radius. So in this case, what we're looking at is atomic radius, the trait we're looking at increases because this is higher on the y-axis, or sorry, this is not as high as this one. So being that this is higher than this one on the y-axis, the trait is greater for this one than it is for this one. So it is increasing in the direction of sodium. It's further increasing in the direction of potassium. It's further increasing in the direction of rubidium. So from lithium to sodium, this trait increased, and it increased even further toward potassium, whatever. So I look on the periodic table. We said it increased from lithium to sodium. Well, if you're going from lithium to sodium, that's downward. And then from sodium to potassium, it's downward. So we're going to say this trait is increasing in the downward direction. So I put an arrow like that. And then um, for this one here, now that I've looked at it across a group, these are in the same group as each other because they're in the same vertical column. Now I need to look at the trend across one of these periods. Remember, period is side to side. So... If I do lithium again, it doesn't matter. I could do any of these and get the same answer. But lithium, what's in the same period as lithium? So I look across the beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. I see, oh, there's fluorine right there. Fluorine is in the same group as lithium. Sorry, I don't know why I just said group. The same period as lithium. So I want to see what's in the same period. And these are in the same period right here. So... Fluorine is number nine, lithium is number three, so this must be number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these must all be in the same period as each other. And in which direction do they increase? Well, fluorine is down here, lithium is up here on the graph. So since fluorine is lower on the y-axis than lithium is, the trait is increasing as I go from fluorine toward lithium along this period right here of these different atoms. So I look on here. It's increasing as I go from fluorine to lithium. So from fluorine to lithium is going this way from fluorine to lithium. So the trend for atomic radius increases as you move downward and toward the left on the periodic table, as shown by here. Again, you do not need to memorize this. You should be able to look at this graph and come up with this. So, for practice sake, I'm going to go through the other two on this graph, the ionization energy and the electronegativity. So, I would say to you, I'm going to go through and present the answer right now. Pause this, figure out for yourself what the direction would be of the trend, as in like downward or upward or left or right, and then figure it out for yourself, and then play the video to see what I come to and see if it's in agreement. So um, I'll assume you're pausing right now, and I'll assume you're now rewatching, now, I assume now you're watching that you finished solving it. So uh, here we go, let's see. Um, what do we got here? Let's do, I guess I did the up and down across the group first, so I'll do that again. These are in the same group as each other. And I see that ionization energy, the, the or any trait, this trait is greater for helium than it is for argon. So from argon toward neon toward helium, it's increasing as I go from argon toward helium. 
and from argon toward helium is upward along the periodic table. So this trait is increasing as we go upward along the periodic table. Let's see. Um, how about along a period? Let's see. Nea, helium, only hydrogen. So there's nothing in the same period as helium here. Neon, yeah, all of these are in the same period as neon. And there's nitrogen, there's beryllium, there's lithium. So these things are in the same period. So that's perfect. I can work with these. Um, I could also use these and get the exact same answer. Let's see. So from this trait is increasing from lithium. It's more in beryllium. It's more in nitrogen. And it's most in neon. So this trait is increasing as I go from lithium toward neon. So from lithium toward neon is right on the periodic table, like so. So from lithium toward neon, by the way, if I looked at this, from sodium, it's increasing toward argon. So I could say from sodium, it's increasing as I go rightward toward argon. So looking at either period, I would have gotten the same answer. So that is why I'm going to say the ionization energy increases as you move upward and toward the right. Ionization energy. Not that you need to memorize that, but eh, why not? It's good to have a label. And then now for the next one. Ah, keep doing that. Okay. Electronegativity or any trend that has a graph like this. So this stuff. Let's see. Uh, fluorine, I see standing out pretty obviously. Fluorine. Okay, what's in the same group as fluorine? Uh, chlorine is in the same group as fluorine. Bromine is the same group. Iodine is the same group. Astatine is the same group. So we can work with those. So I see the trend is going generally like upward. Bromine is less than fluorine. So we see the trend's going upward in this direction as I go from acetine toward iodine, toward bromine, toward chlorine, toward fluorine. With fluorine having the most of this trait because it's highest on the y-axis and acetine having the least because it's lowest on the y-axis. So it's increasing as I go from acetine toward iodine, toward bromine, all the way up toward fluorine. So it's increasing as I go this way, that's upward. Okay, so from acetine to iodine to bromine to fluorine, from bromine to fluorine, whatever, from this, from here to here to here to here, that's upward on the periodic table. Oops, you can't even see that. From here to here to here to here, that's upward on the periodic table. So that's why I put this upward arrow here. Um, the period trend, I can pick any of these and get the exact same results. So I'll just do this one just for no particularly good reason. Um, Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Notice how they're all in the same period as each other. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. So, <clears throat> same period as each other. Lithium has the least because it's lowest on the y-axis. Fluorine has the most of this trait because it's highest on the y-axis. So it's increasing as they go from lithium toward fluorine. So it's increasing as you go from lithium toward fluorine. Well, from lithium toward fluorine, that is rightward on the periodic table, and that's the reason why I'm going to put a rightward facing arrow on here, because the trait is increasing as I move toward the right. Now, of course, in this case, let's see, let's fill this in, increases as you move upward and toward the right. The trend is for electronegativity which I guess is an aside is the power to attract electrons. All right, there we go. So there's some pointers for how to read these graphs in order to figure out what the trend is. Um, I would definitely say practice makes perfect. So rewatch this video, try again, resolve it again. And um, that should pretty much cover the sorts of things we want you to do with it. All right, so there you have it. Happy studies.